Hey everybody, Sam back once again. Yes, this is the Viper 1 for the HTC One. So yeah, let's check it out. So I've already done a full video walk down of it and I, I tried to be as brief as I could, but about 15 to 16 minutes. So if you want to see that one, I will put the link right there for you. This is going to be a very condensed one just to kind of show you some of the main features that I personally like. So anyway, let's stop rambling. Let's try and get this under five minutes. So what is it? It's a custom ROM for the HTC One. And it is via the Viper team, the um, Venom team even. And this one's called the Viper One. Jumping on down, you can probably tell it is all themed. Now you can do all this theming on the fly. So as you can see here, I've got my custom kind of like widgets, and obviously I've got my see there, I've got my um, weather. Couldn't get my words out there. And that there would normally be your quick settings. Currently, I've got it down as my settings because I can jump straight into that. And as you can see, it's all completely themed. Let's jump into the Venom tweaks. And in here, this I've, again, I've done the full video. If you want to see every aspect of it or majority of it, again, click about there and you can go see the full video. But this is regards to, you can hide stuff. So in regards to on your bar there, if I want to enable something, so let's say rotation, click OK. You get your rotation there as well. I want to pick my favourite ones, so rotation is not one of my uh, favourite options on there. Click it again, click OK, and then boom, we've got them all there for us. Vertical quick settings, this is basically if you tap and if you swipe it like that. They're the same settings, but just in a kind of a different way. You've got your quick quick settings, so you can actually pull it down. You've got your long press, so if I do pull it down and long press there, They'll actually disappear and I can get them off some of my favourite applications. I can press it again and completely get rid of them. I'll tap it for a third time and they'll come back again. And again, you can customise all that. Going down, I've disabled my quick settings. So if I were to re-enable them, click OK. If I now pull it down, I now get the actual button there to bring those quick settings back in there. So again, all this kind of stuff is themes, notifications, just kind of changing stuff. Change the notification count, um, status bar icons, you can change it all. Status bar slider, so if you want to make it brighter or darker, you can do. Carry a label, as you can see there, mine says Sam J. Pullen. Choose what you want. Choose all the weather. Again, it's all customization, is this part for the status bar. Colors, again, it's I could be here all day showing you what you could do with it. There are so many options. I didn't even cover this one in the full one, but if you want to see the full one, again, click up there. So up inside where you've got your sense, so as you can saw that I've got a sense kind of like a pack in there. If I want to use a different one, so let's say I want to do, I don't know, let's say this Metro one here. And now when I press the home button, they actually go to like a Metro kind of look. And again, you can go back into there and you can actually download more of them. So if you click the download button, there's 77 of them currently. And you can choose any of them you do want. So if I were to say like, right, I like uh, Yellow Roboto, why not? I just click it, Sam. It brings up what it actually is. I click download, you get in the notification bar, it'll download for us. Click install, it's now fully installed. You have to click back out of it, go back into it. I don't know why you have to do this, and then it shows up. Click it, press home, boom, then it's changed that for us. So you can customize your menu, so you can change regards to what you want in your menu button. So on your main page, you can customize that stuff as well. Again, it's not something you may want to check out. Transparent, so as you can see there, I've got a transparent nav bar. You can change that. You can change all of the navigation stuff, so you can change all of the colors of them. So you can see there, custom backgrounds, blink feed backgrounds, hide the share button. Going sideways, you can change your carrier. So currently, mine says, Sam is awesome. You can have what you want on there. Custom app notifications, so you can actually you know, change your notifications, what you want to see, what you don't want to see. Enable slide to unlock, volume keys for the music. Got your long press home, so when I'm on my lock screen, if I tap on my home button, yep, tap on my home button even, my LED light comes on. Go back onto the lock screen, tap it again, turns it off. Again, you can change those, customize them. Buttons, this regards to your buttons at the bottom. You can change it all, so if I want to take a picture with the home button in my camera, I can do that, that's not an issue. I can change the capacitive backlight, so I can have it on high, medium, always on, always off. Um, go down again volume wake so if your virtual phone's turned off press the volume or press the volume up even and it turns the actual screen on for you which I think is awesome and you can actually turn your screen off by having volume down I don't really know why you want to use that one because what if you want to put your volume down maybe it's just me but anyway um, double pressing your home button with regards to actually how long you want to press it for uh, miscellaneous so you've got your minimum free settings your power menu items so when you press your home button you have your power button even, you can change those. NFC restrictions, you can turn your NFC on when your screen's turned off. SMS, fast dormancy. Again, some of this stuff may not be interesting to you, but it's all there. Disable volume sound. 
one hour to not disable it. Bravia engine, got advanced so you can fix permissions. Again, I'm, I'm trying to go through all of these. I don't want to be doing another 20 minute video. And CPU, so you can overclock it if you've got a custom kernel that does that. And as I said, with regards to your Venom, if you get to your Venom hub, you can actually download all kind of new icon packs, etc. If you want to read through those ones, again, you can pause your screen. But that's the main aspect of the Viper one. Again, there's a lot more into it. I've done a lot more. I kind of went through a lot of the settings in the main video. This video is still about five minutes or so. If you want to see the full video, do click around. I'm right there. But anyway, people, that's it. If you've got any questions about Viper one or anything else, leave those comments down below. So I've tried to rush it, but I'm trying to get this as short as I can so I don't bore you. Anyway, I'll see you all in my next video. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Subscribe. It's free.